The grid order is David Ronald Falk on pole, Kyle McBride in two, Max Mort in three, Patrick Hoffer in four, Atsushi Har in five, Lee Martin in six, Aaron Stringer in seven, Jose Green in eight, Misha Widmar in nine, one Carlos Canas in ten, 11 is David Ongaro, 12 is Cole Ogden, and 13 is our winner from the last well, battle. And they're all there in front of you, so you can see the teams they race for. Be it HB Racing, Infinity, JQ, Scudia, Scampi Rosso, Beach RC, um, or, that was all, wasn't it? s work, sorry. And they obviously they are extra with four engines, Reds engines, hot race tyres, and the Savox servos. Down they go. <coughs> Car slowly going down. <coughs> Mm. Aaron Stringer, the 93 on the last to go down. at the back of the grid, Otavio Yongaro, Colt Ogden, Rob Battle, and they're away. And it's a really clean start for qualifying race four in RCGP. And Ronald Falk makes the break and already poured a little distance on. Uh, and Colt Ogden's had an axe in the back and he's been left at the back. So Colt Ogden not had a good start. Well, look at Ronald Falk go. So we'll take him over the first lap and then drop to second place, please. And that is. Carl McBride in third. It is Max Mort. So that's the uh, the white wheel car, the red car. That is uh, McBride, and always dropping off him is Mort and Hara, wavering in front of Patrick Hoffer. As so we can see McBride, and we see that through the uh, off camera corner now, and being caught up again. So Max Mort not being a uh, oh, well that's not the track, and that's still not the track. So that's kind of oh, Mort's gone three corners that were the track. So drop back to Max Moore and Lee Martin. That's one car back to the orange car with the yellow wheels and the red and blue car who've just gone past him. So Martin now is into third in the red and blue car. So it's two Infinity drivers in second and third, but also now with Mort. And behind Mort, I think, is indeed the 33 of, Martin, of uh, Patrick Hoffer. Not Martin Hoffer, he's a German racer. So Patrick Hoffer. And we are looking at Martin currently running in fourth, and third, sorry, and in fourth again. So, yeah, so Martin now in third, because he actually took just after the uh, start finish. He's got a chase over. Look at Ronafat. Ronafat now away by three seconds nearly as he stamps in on it. But the two infinity drivers are closer. Second, third getting closer. That gap is just 1.2 seconds. Where is Ongaro this lap round? He is out. Ongaro is not running according to this. Yep, Ongaro's in the pit with a broken. Uh, Ongaro had a front tyre problem. And he's now using it for a bit of a test. So Ongaro, front tyre problems. This means it's open season for Ronafout to pick up pole. So we're back with Ronafout now because the, he, as he goes underneath the road now, what's happened is the race leader, the qualifying leader, Davi Ongaro, is doing a tyre change. I think what may well have happened is he started badly enough that he wasn't going to get through. And they're just doing a planned tyre change as they practice for the finals. So second, third, and let's drop back to second, third, and fourth, which is, which is quite close, guys. That's the red and white infinity of Karl McBride, the blue and white infinity of um, Lee Martin, and the yellowy orange and yellow wheeled car, or JQ car, of Max Mort. And behind them is Cole Ogden, which is, which is amazing, because Cole Ogden made a terrible start. And Ogden somehow got through the entire field. Behind him is uh, JQ and uh, Canas. And then Vidmeyer, and then there's a, the stragglers at the back are Battle and Har and Stringer. So, Ongaro not in this. As he, Ongaro now goes out with a new type of tyre, which is quite clever. And Martin's made a mistake, and Max Mort now moves into third place. And Max showing a huge amount. He's not shown any form in the first three races. Now it's all about the form. So, McBride leads from Mort. And the distance is about... Uh, well, you can see it's about that far. So, on camera now. Battle for second. It is Carl McBride from Australia, Max Mort from Finland. McBride won, Heat two, so a second place and a first place. If they had DNF in the uh, in the third round, it's going to give him a good starting position. Out front, already a lap ahead of Robert Bass. Battle comes in as well, so there's a couple of guys that have stopped. Like Battle's going to try a tyre change as well. So there's some right old tactics going on in qualifying race four now. As Ron Fouch League goes out to six seconds. The battle of the faces you can see on the screen, they are McBride and Mort. Max Mort has had a bit of a torrid time here over the last couple of days. A lot of breakdowns, a flame out, spits falling off his car. Um, bad marshalling in the last race. They're very sporting. He said it was his fault because he crashed. Uh, but now, comfortably in third, keeping there on, on pace. And accelerating now down the straight in the orange car. We're with... Um, 
and McBride in the red machine. Soaping it up a bit just to get the set of the car behind him in with the yellow wheels. Now the difference in that one, again, about four or five tenths. And it's all spread out slightly here as everyone's gone very tactical. Just so you know, though, we've got a lead of 7.3 seconds. I don't have a predicted time for uh, Ronald Falks. It's going to be exciting to find out whether he can beat the uh, time of Ongaro of 7.13 for the uh, 40 and a half laps. Currently we're on lap eight. And uh, lap nine will be starting very soon for Ronald Falks. He's managed to keep it four wheels down. Uh, drop back to the uh, Mort versus Ogden battle. So the yellow wheel, the yellow car of uh, Mort with the yellow and purple machine of Ogden. Ogden, who was absolutely plumb last about four quarters into this race. Now as they go up the hot race section, and in fact, interestingly, at the same time, McBride had a bad lap, and now second, third, and fourth are coming together. So Ogden in fourth. In third place, it's Mort. In second place, it's McBride. Ogden makes a small mistake there, and so now second and third are the ones who are chasing it. Uh, eight and a half second lead now for Ronnefalk. So the problem is that we know the pace of these guys are. Is that eight and a half seconds enough? Because, of course, the time that uh, Ongaro set, as Mort makes the mistake, the time that Ongaro set was done uh, under intense pressure from Ronnefalk when they were pushing each other. So can, as a time trial, can Ronnefalk go as quickly? In fact, Ronnefalk has just gone past, has lapped the Ongaro car, which is doing tyre testing. So, McBride now second, but third and fourth are right nailed together again. Mort and Ogden. As they go over the big triple, this is where, oh, and they're just trying to get up the inside there, Ogden. On 11, so there's three laps to go. Oh. And in fact, unfortunately for old Max, most of the time he overtakes, he's not actually be on the track. So let's stick with Ogden as he goes forward. That's the car with the yellow body, a yellow and purple body, the HP Performer driver, trying to catch up the Infinity driver, having even taken the JQ driver. And initially behind uh, Max Moore is his team leader, Joe Cole Green, who's actually now up to uh, fifth. Lee Martin sixth, Mitch Whip by a seventh, Hopper eighth. At the front, the lead now is 10.2 seconds. And it's about a lap and a half to go. So as they go round, let's see if we can uh, catch over the start finish, it's Ronafout now. We can see the Ronafout car. It's going up the hot race doubles and onto the steps now. You know what color it is. We know what color it is. It's the yellow, orange, and green machine on his last lap. Now, will he be able to beat a 7, 13, 50 something? And in fairness, I think not, because he needs to do a 28 second lap to do it. So I think he's going to be just not fast enough to beat Ongaro. And Ongaro, I think, is going to pick up pole. It's going to be very, 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 very close, though, by. Pico seconds, so he's got one corner to go. He's going to blast it, he wins, here we go. It's a 7 14 4. No, he's missed it by nine tenths of a second. So Ronafout, I don't think, gets pole. Ronafout will have a one, a two, and a three, as does uh, Ongaro. So now Ongaro keeps the pole position. And let's go and see if we can talk to some of the drivers at the end of that particular race. So, two big stories there. Well, the plan almost worked, but you missed it by eight tenths of a okay, second. Okay. Yeah, I know it was close. I had a couple of kind of wobbly laps on the start, uh, but I tried to keep it together towards the end. I ran really strong, I think, in the last uh, three and a half minutes or so. Um, you know, it was really good that time. Uh, just, yeah, just a couple of mistakes in the, in the beginning. I knew it was a clean run, so I had to go clean, but I didn't, so. Do you, is it not, do you think you go quicker when you, because the first race, course, you two are really close to going pushing each other. Does that make you faster or, or does the tripping up slow you down overall? Yeah, for sure it's uh, easier when you have someone to kind of pace your speed with, but, uh, you know, um, we have those headsets now, so I, I heard the lap times from down there, so I knew uh, the speed was good, it was going to be close, uh, but yeah, just one mistake there in the beginning, too much uh, to make it, but anyway, top two on the grid, I guess, so uh, not too bad. Congratulations, thank you very much. Have you day. You are the our first pole man for RCGP. You managed it by um, eight tenths of a second. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he had a problem on the double double and at the beginning of the race, so I broke the front uh, screw of the shocks. Can happen. <laughs> and then you changed tires. Was that was that to test a different tire? Yeah, because no, no, I test the the same tire, but uh, new tire not don't work uh, good, so I scrubbing them in. Yeah, a little bit. Fantastic. Thank you. Well, congratulations on our first pole position.